Welcome back. We're on Leviticus chapter 24. The Lord said to Moses, Command the people of Israel to bring you pure oil of pressed olives for the light to keep the lamps burning continually. This is the lampstand that stands in the tabernacle in front of the inner curtain that shields the Ark of the Covenant. Aaron must keep the lamps burning in the Lord's presence all night. This is a permanent law for you, and it must be observed from generation to generation. Aaron and the priest must tend the lamps on the pure gold lampstand continually in the Lord's presence. You must make twelve loaves of bread from choice flour using four quarts of flour for each loaf. Place the bread before the Lord on the pure gold table and arrange the loaves in two, in two rows with six loaves in each row. Put some pure frankincense near each row to serve as a representative offering, a special gift presented to the Lord. <laughs> Man, all these gifts that the Lord gets. Does Yahweh come off to anyone as a particularly fat man, maybe? <laughs> you know, I'm just picturing this guy is sitting in his mountain. Bring me gifts. I need offerings. Slaughter the goat at the entrance of the tabernacle. Splatter his blood on the walls and burn him. Oh, yeah, that's a pleasing aroma. Oh, yeah. Oh, gifts. Oh, <laughs> Every Sabbath day, this bread must be laid out before the Lord. The bread is to be received from the people of Israel as a requirement of the eternal covenant. The loaves of bread will belong to Aaron and his descendants, who must eat them in a sacred place, for they are most holy. It is the permanent right of the priest to claim this portion of the special gifts presented to the Lord. You know, this really exposes the whole point of presenting offerings to the Lord. It's, you know, to... Because the, the priests, they get to claim portions of these gifts presented to the Lord. Which, you know, since Yahweh uh, is a fucking myth, he's completely imaginary, there's not really a man in, in a mountain that created the universe. Uh, <laughs> it really goes to show that all this presenting the gifts to the Lord is really about feeding the priests. Yeah, a bunch of deceitful motherfuckers. One day a man who had an Israelite mother and an Egyptian father came out of his tent and got into a fight with one of the Israelite men. During the fight, this son of an Israelite woman blasphemed the name of the Lord with a curse. So the man was brought to Moses for judgment. Now, how do you like that? They bring this person to Moses for judgment. Oh, he's the guy who talks to God. So it really goes to show why Moses is in this. He's in it for the power. <laughs> oh, yes, I'm the one who knows what God wants. I'm the one who speaks to God. I'm the one who went up on the mountain and survived. You go up on the mountain, you'll be killed. His mother was Shalometh, the daughter of Dibri of the tribe of Dan. They kept the man in custody until the Lord's will in the matter should become clear to them. Or Moses' will. Then the Lord said to Moses, Take the blasphemer outside the camp and tell all those who heard the curse to, li to lay their hands on his head. Then let the entire community stone him to death. That's right, they're going to stone him to death. Say to the people of Israel, those who curse their God will be punished for their sin. Anyone who blasphemies the name of the Lord must be stoned to death by the whole community of Israel. Any native-born Israelite or foreigner among you who blasphemies the name of the Lord must be put to death. Sound a little severe at all? Well, what the hell do we really expect from a raging volcano god? Anyone who takes another person's life must be put to death. Does that include the people who are stoning the guy? <laughs> Anyone who kills another person's animal must pay for it in full, a live animal for the animal that was killed. Anyone who injures another person must be dealt with according to the injury inflicted. A fracture for a fracture, an eye for an eye, yeah, yeah, a tooth for a tooth. You've already gone over this shit, Yahweh. <laughs> Yahweh. <laughs> 
Whatever anyone does to injure another person must be paid back in kind. Whoever kills an animal must pay for it in full, but whoever kills another person must be put to death. The same standard applies both to native-born Israelites and to the foreigners living among you. I am the Lord your God. After Moses gave all these instructions to the Israelites, they took the blasphemer outside the camp and stoned him to death. The Israelites did just as the Lord had commanded Moses. That was Leviticus chapter 24. We will be back with 25. It means, uh, yeah, we got three chapters left of Leviticus. Ah, oh, thank goodness for that. Fuck Leviticus. God damn it. <laughs> I'll probably upload another one today. We'll see what happens. Peace out, guys.